Okay, so this presentation is designed to, to teach airport vocabulary and it's the first in a series of presentations because it's uh, a lengthy topic but today um, we're going to, um, to look at 10 distinct words um, and at the end of the, the slides um, and the examples um, there's going to be five activities to, to reinforce the meanings of the words. So let's begin. The first word is departure gate. Please be at the departure gate on time. Which departure gate does my flight go from? There's been a gate change for flight BA757. We will be announcing the departure gate shortly. When we arrived at departure gate C10, the passengers had already boarded the aircraft. The second word is departure lounge. Please wait in the departure lounge. Travellers waiting in a departure lounge are reminded to keep a close eye on their hand luggage. Refreshments are on sale in the departure lounge. The second departure lounge is larger than the first. So departure lounge, our second word. The third one is customs. All passengers must pass through the customs area. At customs, officials check that everything being bought into a country is legal. Passengers must clear UK customs in order to enter this country. Carry-on baggage is scanned when passing through customs. Baggage claim, our fourth word. Passengers pick up their suitcases at baggage claim. Suitcases are loaded onto the carousel in the baggage claim area. The Smith family are waiting for their luggage in baggage claim. How many suitcases are you picking up from baggage claim? So, baggage claim. And our fifth word is air bridge. Once you've cleared security, you may pass down the air bridge. The air bridge is full of passengers patiently waiting to board the aircraft. The air bridge connects the gate to the body of the airplane. Passengers start to feel anxious as they walk down the air bridge. So our next word is check-in area. Your luggage shall be weighed at the check-in area. Make sure that you have your passport ready for inspection at the check-in area. At the check-in area, you will receive your boarding pass and gate number. It may be possible to change your seat number at the check-in area. So the sixth word we have is check-in area. And the seventh word is terminal. Are we flying from terminal A or from terminal B? The taxi driver dropped us off at Terminal 1. An airport terminal is a large building within an airport that contains all the facilities required for air travel. This airport terminal has just been opened. So, terminal, our seventh word. And our eighth word is duty-free shop. Items sold at the duty-free shop are cheaper because they are free from taxes. All goods at the duty-free shop are exempt from taxes. We bought some perfume and liquor at the duty-free store and saved a lot of money. Which duty-free shop did you shop at during your layover? So yes, that's duty-free shop as we move on to our next word, which is currency exchange. Which currency exchange offers the best rates? I need to find a currency exchange so that I can change these dollars into pounds. The currency exchange was not open when we arrived at the airport. Right now, you can get some really good conversion rates at the currency exchange. So our final phrase, in this case, flight information board. 
The flight information board says that my flight has been delayed. Check the flight information board to see if your flight is on time. I saw that my departure gate had been changed on the flight information board. The flight information boards are being constantly updated. OK, so those are the 10 keywords that we're going to look at in this class. Now, let's just look again at the pronunciation. And maybe at this stage you would like to practice repeating um, the, the words after, after my pronunciation by pausing the, uh, the video. One. Departure gate. Departure gate. Two. Departure lounge. Departure lounge. Three. Customs. Customs. Four, baggage claim, baggage claim, five, air bridge, air bridge, six, check in area. Check in area. Seven. Terminal. Terminal. Eight. Duty free shop. Duty free shop. Nine. Currency exchange. Currency exchange. Ten. Flight information board. Flight information board. So, there are five... Uh, activities associated with these words. So we're going to have a look at the first one. I recommend that you have um, a piece of paper and something to write with. Um, this is our first uh, task. We've got 10 words and 10 words and phrases. So just write down 1 to 10 on your piece of paper and then try and match those words to the, the pictures. What I recommend you do right now is just pause the video and then when you finish the task I'll be revealing the answers for you. Okay. So, welcome back. Hopefully, you finished the task and I'm going to show you the answers. Here they, here they come. Number one is duty free shop. Number two is average. Number three is check in area. Number four is currency exchange. Number five is terminal. Number six, departure gate. Number seven, baggage claim. Eight, flight information board. Nine, departure lounge. And ten, customs. So let's move on to the second task. The second task is a gap filling activity. You can see the words in the black and yellow box. And you have to match these words and phrases to spaces. So we have departure lounge, customs, currency exchange, check-in area, duty-free shop, uh, baggage claim, air bridge, departure gate, and terminal. So please, like before, just pause the, the video at this point, and I'll be revealing the answers when you're finished. Okay, so welcome back, and we're gonna quickly run through the answers. 
So the first answer is currency exchange. Is there a good exchange rate at the currency exchange? Number two is baggage claim. We could not find our suitcases at the baggage claim. Three, terminal. The airport terminal is a very large building. Four, we received our boarding pass from the airline official at the check-in area. Five, departure gates. Our departure gates has changed. We now board a D45. Six, departure lounge. I bought a coffee and relaxed in the departure lounge. Seven, airbridge. As we walked down the airbridge, we began to feel anxious about the flight. Eight, duty-free shop. The duty-free shop has some great bargains. And nine, customs. Your carry-on luggage is checked at customs. So that was the end of uh, task two. And we now move on to task three, of course. So what do we do in this task? Well, as you can see, there are eight questions. And in each question, there's a kind of pinky purply word or phrase. This phrase or word is wrong, and you have to change it for another of the seven words that fits in that space. So question one, uh, sir, you will be boarding at departure lounge B19. Obviously, departure lounge doesn't fit, so you have to use one of the other seven words and to, to write that as your answer. All right, so please pause the video at this point, and in a few moments time, I'll be revealing the answers when you finished. Okay, so welcome back. Hopefully you've finished those tasks now, those those questions now, and here are the answers to the tasks. So question one, sir, you'll be boarding at gate B19. Number two, I am still waiting at baggage claim for my case. Apparently, the baggage handlers are on strike. By the way, uh, to be on strike means you're not working. So the baggage handlers are not working because they're protesting perhaps about the pay uh, at the airport. Number three, uh, you'll receive your boarding pass at the check-in area. Number four, maybe you'll be able to buy some perfume at a discount in the duty-free shop. Number five, the official at customs took everything out of my bag including my laptop. Six, we are eating at the McDonald's restaurant in Departure Lounge 2, and after that, we'll go to our gates. Seven, all of the passengers on the air bridge are nervous because they're about to enter the aircraft. And eight, the service charge at the currency exchange was $13, so we decided to take our euros to a local bank instead. So yes, those are the correct words and phrases for those eight uh, statements. That's the end of uh, task three. So we're going to move on uh, to the penultimate task, task four. So in this task, you can see that you've got um, four different, four distinct parts of the airport. So A, duty free shop, B, departure gate, C, customs, and D, check-in area. Now for each of those um, nine questions you've got a phrase you've got a you've got a statement you've got a, a question you have to match the vocabulary there uh, in each of those questions the context to the the part of the airport uh, so you've got like nine different questions and you have to think you know which part of the airport would you would you hear this kind of announcement or question in so yeah, just write uh, the letter A, B, C, or D next to each of those uh, questions. Please pause your video now, and I'll be re revealing the answers when I come back. Okay, so it's time to reveal those answers to uh, activity four. So question one is B, departure gates. We're now inviting passengers from group D to begin boarding. Number two, can you put all personal belongings in a plastic container, please? That would be heard at customs, C. Three, prior to boarding, please have your passport and boarding pass available for inspection. That would be heard at the departure gate, B. 
uh, four, do you have any special eating requirements that would be heard at D, uh, the check-in area? Five, uh, since you have set off this security alarm, we need to search you. That would be heard at Customs, C. Um, six, do you accept travellers' checks? That would be heard at the duty-free shop, A. Seven, did anybody ask you to carry anything for them? That would be heard at uh, D, the check-in area. And number eight, the customs officer took away my bottle of mineral water, so I'd like to buy a new one. That would be heard at the duty-free shop, A. And finally, question nine, what is the country of your final destination? That would be heard at the check-in area, D. So that concludes the answers to task four, and we move on to our final activity now. So um, basically here we have um, a small story and account of a trip to an airport. And as you can see, there are seven highlighted words. What you need to do in this task is to match um, the highlighted word like terminal, customs, etc. Uh, to, to one of those uh, mini pictures, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, um, so I will reveal the answers when I come back, so please uh, pause your video now. Okay, so I've come back, and we're now going to review those answers to the final task. So question A was the first one, the, the terminal. Um, G was the second one at customs. Um, the third one was D, the flight information board. And the fourth one was C, uh, the departure lounge. And the fifth one was B, the currency exchange. And the sixth one was E, at the, the gate, the departure gate. And uh, the final one was the air bridge. The seventh one was the air bridge F. So those are the answers. And that brings us to the end of, of the presentation. So um, please keep posted. Um, please stay attentive. I will be you know, doing more vocabulary videos based on, the, on this theme of, of airports and travel. And I hope that you have found this uh, useful. So bye for now.